on page 104, and this is exercise 40. And um, here the heart rate is uh, approximately 60. Now you notice that the heart rate here says 58. Um, we can do a, um, let's just do uh, a quick count. So here's a QRS that falls in a dark line, 300, 150, 175, 60. So yeah, we'll say fair enough, 58 to uh, 60, somewhere around there. And um, the P waves are present in upright. The PR interval is approximately 0.16 second. And the QRS is narrow. It's uh, less than 0.12 second. Uh, the ratio of P waves to QRS is 1 to 1. The rhythm is regular. And assuming the heart rate is 60, then this is a normal size rhythm with a heart rate of 60. It's as simple as that. If it's 58, and, and again, it's going to vary, then it would be a sinus bradycardia of 58, right? But uh, there is some variation on the heart rate. Let's just look at what it is here, actually, out of curiosity. So that's 300, 150, 175, 60, again, just slightly below that line. So, um, yeah, you know, one could argue that this is a, a sinus bradycardia rather than um, uh, a, a normal sinus rhythm. So I'm going to just put that down there too. So um, if you guessed uh, sinus brady versus uh, NSR, I think that's quite reasonable.